Hey, so got a really cool feature to roll out to you guys, and that is the ability to set goals for your AI, to set goals or actions for when the AI gets to a certain point in the conversation or gets certain information, the AI can take action within your CRM, either adding a tag or updating a con uh, contact field. So let me show you how that works here. Down here, uh, when you are in the bot section, if you create a bot or are editing a bot, you can now come down here and add a goal. There are two different types. One is the tag type, which is going to add a tag based on a certain uh, a certain event occurring in the conversation. And the other is a custom field type where a field is going to be updated. So I have a demo account set up that I'm going to run through. Uh, how to set that up and give you a little bit of an example here. So first of all, if you select tag type, you're going to have two different fields pop up. Number one is just the tag name, and that's going to be the tag you want to add. And number two is the goal description. Now over in my demo account, I'm having the AI ask what niche people are in and then asking how many clients they currently have. So this is a B2B looking at SaaS, SaaSpreneurs uh, for potentially signing up for Zappy Chat. And so I'm gonna have a tag here that I'm gonna call uh, no clients for folks that don't have any clients yet. And so um, I'm gonna say, let's see, gold description. We'll say the user does not have any clients yet. And then I'm gonna add another tag type. And for our tag here, I'm gonna say uh, one to 10 clients. And I'm going to go ahead and just throw in another one here to kind of speed this up. Um, 10 plus clients. And so now I have three tags and I'm going to say the user has between one and 10 clients currently. And lastly, the user has more than 10 clients. So you can see here that I can set up descriptors and add tags based on those descriptors that the AI will review the conversation and if appropriate, add those tags. And so we've got our three tags here for sort of the number of clients. Now let's add a custom field type. Now a custom field type goal is gonna have a little more complexity to it because you also have to set the field type as well as the name and the description. So first of all, the name, this is going to be the text name, not, not the merge code. So not contact dot field name. It's going to be the actual field name. So in my case here in my test location, uh, it's just called niche. So I'm going to call it niche and then I'm going to select the field type. This is a text type field. Uh, but if you had a phone number type or an email type, or if you wanted to update the actual contact information, like the full name, date of birth, email, the contact's full address, the business name, or even the time zone. Uh, let me see, need to expand the window here. Yeah, the contact time zone. Uh, you can choose one of those and you can update those fields. But for now, we're just gonna do my text type uh, for my niche. And we're gonna say the niche or industry that the user works in. Uh, and so I always I always use the user when describing the lead since that's more of the language that OpenAI is familiar with um, and trained on. Uh, and so for tags, you know, we're describing uh, the we're describing the sort of goal or the sort of objective for adding that tag. For the field, we're describing what the actual field is. So if we said time zone, it would just be like the user's time zone. Um, and here it would you know, I could say the user's niche or industry, um, but I'm going to just phrase it like this, the niche or industry that the user works in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit update. And just like that, we can now run a quick test over here. So I'm going to go ahead and send out my intro message that I have saved in here um, and send that out to my contact. I'm going to go ahead and turn my bot status on for this contact. Uh, this demo account, A2P, um, is going to stop it from actually sending. All right, so I had to hit pause and remember what phone number this was under and probably should have used a demo account that had uh, A2P approved, but um, we'll still run for it here and show you an example of this conversation. So the AI is going to follow its prompt and go through the script here to ask, um, I think, to gather the email as well as ask for the niche and the number of clients that uh, that the lead currently has. And then we're gonna see 
that it will update this niche field and will add tags appropriately. So we've got great, first off, what niche or industry are you in? And I'm gonna say, um, I'm in the real estate niche and send that across. And so we'll wait a second here before hitting refresh, but once I refresh this page, this niche field should be filled in based on the goals received from the bot here. Uh, and so I'm just gonna wait for the response to come across. Um, surprisingly, this text went through uh, despite the A2P not being approved. So uh, some will actually come through to my phone, but others will not. Uh, but yeah, so basically the AI analyzes the conversation to extract the necessary information. So I'm gonna hit refresh here. Uh, and let's see, while it's doing that, they're asking how many clients I have. And I'm gonna say none yet, but I'm hoping to get 10 by the end of the summer. Um, and so I'll send that in. Meanwhile, now that we're refreshed, uh, we should have that niche field updated with the real estate niche. Um, high level is just taking a second here to load and catch up, but uh, as soon as it comes, it will be there. So we'll just hold tight for a second. Uh, meanwhile, the AI should be processing my next message there. And so you can see here, it went ahead and updated my niche with real estate. Um, so it followed the goal here and took that information and added it into um, added it into the niche field. And so now it generated a response uh, for my um, for my number of clients. And so I'm going to hit refresh again, and we should see the tag added on there as well. And so meanwhile, I'm going to respond back to that question of what's holding you back right now. Um, I'm going to say I just haven't. Uh, nail down my offer yet. Um, but while that's processing through, we should have a tag added here. Uh, and you can see here that basically by adding additional tags, uh, you can fire off whatever automations you might want. So if you have a separate nurture sequence for folks who have no clients versus folks who have 10 or more clients, if you have a different offer for those folks, you can see how now the AI can uh, can trigger off those workflows, trigger off those offers, and you can really um, you can really specialize your entire system and automate uh, really crafting different offers, different um, different different situations for your for your leads. And so you can see here that the no clients tag was added, and the AI is continuing to move on through its uh, through its prompt to go and add appointments. Um, so that's a new feature in here. Go check it out in the membership area. And I'm excited to see what you guys build with this because I think this feature really opens up a lot of possibilities in terms of using your AI to add tags and update fields across um, all sorts of different situations. So hop in here, add a few goals to your AI and begin to, um, to build out your system even further.